What is up everybody? My name is Noah Banks, also known as a Millennial Health Coach, and today we'll be going over the five best protein substitutes to include in your diet. So let's go ahead and dive right in. We all know that protein is a very important nutrient for the body. It helps us build those muscles, stay full throughout the day, and in fact, your body burns more calories trying to digest protein than it does for fats and carbs. It's pretty important. But do you know what I really just can't stand? You know, all these websites and these, you know, old school trainers are like, well, if you gotta get protein in, you gotta eat chicken, just chicken. I used to compete, and I don't know about you, I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder every single day. And that's why I wanted to share these five awesome substitutes for protein that you can have rather than just eating chicken by itself. Substitute number one are eggs. What came first, the muscle or the eggs? Eggs should be a staple of anybody's diet. One large egg has six grams of protein. So if you add maybe two or three eggs in one sitting, you'll be set. The second substitute is actually a category. It's your nuts and your seeds. This includes peanuts, walnuts, almonds, pistachios, chia seeds, sunflower seeds. You get the picture. These make really good snack options and help you to stay full throughout the day. So either have it a container on your desk or maybe a few bags throughout your house. So whenever you get in those hunger feelings, you can stop those cravings with just a pack of nuts or some seeds. Substitute number three is quinoa, quinoa. Quinoa actually serves both as a carb and a good source of protein. And that's why I recommend it as one of the best power foods to eat. And for one cup of quinoa, you have around six grams of protein. So the next time that you're out getting lunch, try to go ahead and have a quinoa bowl instead of a rice bowl. Substitute number four is Greek yogurt. Now I'll be honest, I wasn't the biggest Greek yogurt fan. By itself, it tastes terrible. So what I did is I actually added grapes and tried different fruits, grapes, apples, just different things that I could mix with it that would make it taste a lot better. So it made it go down a lot easier. I got to eat, was able to get something sweet, something cold. It's a great substitute for ice cream. Last but not least, substitute number five are beans. Now beans are a great option because they can literally go with anything. You could put them into a burrito, your eggs, a veggie burger, your salad, you can literally put them anywhere. And with seven to 10 grams per half a cup of beans, you literally will be getting enough protein by just putting a half a cup or full cup in there. But also remember, they do contribute to. So if you start to add those five items to your grocery list, the eggs, the nuts and seeds, the quinoa, the Greek yogurt, the beans, you'll start to have a way more varied diet of protein rather than just having chicken or beef and being a typical meathead. Did I mention you'd be saving money too? Now you may be wondering, well Noah, how much protein should I have? I actually created a healthy eating guide just for you. It basically goes over the function of proteins, how they can help your body, how much you need to have, how you can fit them into your meals, and it's super helpful. It's in the description box, so check that link out below to go ahead and download it. And I hope this video was super helpful for you guys. If it was, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment below about a health topic that you want me to talk about next time. So I'll see you next week, and you already know, embrace the hype.